Welcome back, everybody. I believe this is um, part 17 of the walkthrough right now. Playthrough, let's play. By the way, Jim, a supply drop came in while you were away, and if I'm not mistaken, we got all the parts we need for a couple of major upgrades to your rig. One of them's a gas torch. I've got some contracts for you on the new pipeline, so uh, I need you ready to do some welding. The other upgrade? Well, I'll just let Gail show you that one. Still waiting for the upgrade that'll um, make this uh, mech walk a little quicker. That'd be nice. Let's talk to Gail, get this rig upgraded. Man alive! Jim, I'm glad you're back. It was a long couple of weeks. Of course I told him you'd make it. Never a doubt in my mind. Oh, won't Braddock be happy? He's favorite, back from the dead. Huh. LaRoche is happy to see you too. Hey, major, major upgrade time for you. Parts came in for an acetylene torch. Sexy, right? <laughs> I can slap that together in no time. But the other upgrade, it's gonna take significant surgery, but you're gonna love it. Consider it a little welcome home gift from Braddock and yours truly. Your chassis is a Dynasty 2 swing arm. Platform compatible. All the access holes line up and everything if we wanna fully convert. You game? I trust you, Gail. And if you hurt her, I'll cut your arms off. Sweet! I think it would have been pretty cool if they made like a video of uh, Gale working on the, the map. It's like a time lapse or something like that. This know. is it, Jim. My masterpiece. Your rig can now transform into a drilling platform. The suspension might feel a little tighter, and sorry about that, but you're going to lose your mind when you see what your rig can do now. The Roche, no begging for one. Giving you enough chances. Fancy but useless, huh? What good is a drilling platform without knowing the location of deep thermal pockets? Shush! You're ruining the high. Jim, you were also officially upgraded with the Mitchell Industries oxyacetylene torch. Dual 150 oxygen regulators with a custom thermodyne cutting tip. It's a small flame for welding and cutting, so don't expect to melt the environment with it. It's pretty pyro-proof. Gotta say, proud of this one. Just check the valve reseals on the cylinder from time to time. And the Frankenstein rig keeps growing. Mmm, yeah. LaRoche, can I have a second alone with Gail? Da. Ah, I don't want to be here for this anyway. Au revoir. Listen, Gail, can you look at getting a replacement for this purifier? Uh, dude, this is like 50 years old. I don't think a modern day replacement would work with wherever this came from. But I can look at repairing it for you. Busting out the welding goggles. Uh, what do we have? Balance of five. Yay. Tell the truth, Jim. How did you survive in the wild for two weeks? Oh, no big story to tell. Fell off a cliff, nearly died, got rescued by a beautiful snow princess. Always a pleasure, man. Secret hideaway. Pretty much what you'd expect. Nice. Points for create. Create what? I don't understand. I don't. Yeah, I really don't understand how we get points for um, buying stuff for the rig. That really was explained. Now that your rig's upgraded, test it out on a deep core T energy reservoir in the North Plains. Braddock out. Offline until the plumbing issue can be resolved. All it is. Thing is, where are we going? Oops. Yeah, well, okay, come on. I need to see the entire map. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, this is 
where we need to go. I guess we have to go here. Gracie, I'm so sorry I worried you. I'm fine. I just found myself off the grid for a spell. Nothing I planned on. It's a long story. And you'll hear it, I promise. Just stay strong, doll. Talk soon. done yourself this time, no doubt about it. Here's how it works. Once you start the drill, you'll have a limited amount of time before thermal pressure collapses the pocket. So keep the rig functioning at all times to get every last drop of tea energy. The rig won't self-repair while platform, so you'll have to make repairs by hand. Wait, why will I need to make repairs? Uh, about that. See, the deep core drilling causes intense vibration, so you'll likely attract, oh, every acre in the area. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. Whoops, have fun, gotta go! <laughs> Shocker, as soon as he says that thing.
expecting like one of those big ass monster type uh, creatures to be coming. Sure sounds like it. Seems like Jim's running a little slower right now. But it takes care of him. I think it's time to repair this rig really quick. Gotta hold on. Let's just 
just reload all the everything before we get out of here. topic we discussed earlier. In fact, it's urgent. Come see me at my pod as soon as you're able. Starting to shrug from this. Shackleton's Peak. I don't need to go this way. When I first got this job, it was a dream come true. I thought of Braddock as one of my closest friends. I believed him when he called Coronis a family. I looked past the fact that deep down, I didn't fit in there. In retrospect, I never was one of them. Even when I worked, slept, ate under their roof, I was made to feel like a stranger. I realize I'm not the easiest person to know. Never mastered the art of small talk or clever conversation. But wouldn't a true family look past that? And yet when the storms rage, each worse than the last, I think of them. I know they're a step closer to doom. And I know I can't let that happen. <sighs> Family's a bitch. I guess. Hey. I Hi. I, I'm sorry. I, just, I was trying to put Hank to sleep and I heard your message come in and now that I know you're okay, I feel a bit ridiculous right now. Glad you're back on the grid, whatever that means. I love you. Catch up soon. She's cheating on him. That's exactly what's happened. I feel a little bit ridiculous right now. She thought I was dead. I just started getting the D from elsewhere. James, thank heavens you made it in time. There's a storm heading this way within the hour, and I need you to plow right into the center of it. Of course you do. Do I want to know why? I need to attach sensors to your rig's winch, so time is of the essence. 
I'll explain while you're on your way to the top of Shaq's Peak. All right then, get in your rig. I'll fill you in as we go. All right, so I'm gonna end the, the video right now. Uh, obviously, the next one will be heading to this peak, and we'll see what happens there. Should be pretty cool if we're heading right directly into a storm. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, check out for the next part soon. Peace.